It's time for our daily devotion, daily daily of abiding in Jesus Christ. In the book of John chapter 15 verse 7. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. A daily devotional ministry project of Christo Gojino Gaga from passages taken from the Holy Scriptures with quotations from the Spirit of Prophecy by Ellen G. White. Daily daily, daily abiding in Jesus Christ. July 3, 2020. 2 Corinthians 13 verses 4 to 5. Since ye seek a proof of Christ speaking in me, which to you ward is not weak, but is mighty in you. For though he was crucified through weakness, yet he liveth by the power of God. For we also are weak in him, but we shall live with him by the power of God toward you. Examine yourselves, whether ye be in the faith, prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves, how that Jesus Christ is in you, except ye be reprobates? Quotations from the Spirit of Prophecy The children of God are called to be representatives of Christ, showing forth the goodness and mercy of the Lord. As Jesus has revealed to us the true character of the Father, so we are to reveal Christ to a world that does not know his tender, pitying love. In every one of his children, Jesus sends a letter to the world. If you are Christ's follower, he sends in you a letter to the family, the village, the street, where you live. Jesus, dwelling in you, desires to speak to the hearts of those who are not acquainted with him. Perhaps they do not read the Bible, or do not hear the voice that speaks to them in its pages, they do not see the love of God through his works. But if you are a true representative of Jesus, it may be that through you they will be led to understand something of his goodness and be one to love and serve him. Christians are set as light bearers on the way to heaven. They are to reflect to the world the light shining upon them from Christ. Their life and character should be such that through them others will get a right conception of Christ and of his service. Steps to Christ, page 115. The good tree will produce good fruit. If the fruit is unpalatable and worthless, the tree is evil. So the fruit born in the life testifies as to the condition of the heart and the excellence of the character. Good works can never purchase salvation, but they are an evidence of the faith that acts by love and purifies the soul. And though the eternal reward is not bestowed because of our merit, yet it will be in proportion to the work that has been done through the grace of Christ. Desire of Ages, page 314 Our prayer for you today. Dear God, our Father in heaven, today, we kneel down and bow our heads with awe and reverence because you are our Creator and our loving Father. Thank you for loving us by sending your begotten Son by becoming one within in us to save us from sin which would have brought eternal death to all the human beings. Today, we pray that you give us the power to accept and love Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. Thank you for answering our prayer because we ask in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior. Amen.